All right, today, crazy stuff, guys. We are fixing a crack in a windshield. There she is, huge, about the size of a ladybug. But if you know about windshield cracks, they can start small, and then you get a little heat, a little cold, then they spider web. Yeah, they move all over, turn into huge cracks. So instead of paying a few hundred dollars, we picked up one of these at AutoZone for about, I think it was 20, $24. Permatext windshield repair kit. And I'm gonna go through the process of repairing said windshield. First, let me go through what comes in this kit. So again, this is Permatext windshield kit. Um, just a little information about it. The size of crack it repairs. Cures by natural sunlight, easy to follow instructions. Uh, I'll say kind of easy to follow instructions. And then inside, these were all in a bag. Um, but yeah, kind of looks like that. And then I'll show you what each one is for in the actual installation process. And sorry in advance for the glare. There's really no good way to focus this well. First things first, they give you this small thumbtack to pick out any glass that still might be in there. I don't really think there was any in ours. Again, it's very small. Just gonna double check though. And then they give you an alcohol prep pad. And then, yeah, you're just gonna clean up the surrounding area. This feels like a very surgical process. And then I just kind of waited for it to naturally dry. The alcohol will just kind of evaporate. Then they give you this disc. You peel the adhesive off one side first. And then you're gonna put the crack right in the center of the hole, no big surprise there, and make sure the tab is pointing upward. Make sure that's on nice and secure. Next, you take the pedestal, I guess they call this a pedestal. Sort of makes sense. Take off this top piece from the disc. So now it's adhesive stickiness again, and then line it right up. Make sure it's on nice and tight. All right, this next part gets kind of surgical. You get a razor blade, um, a plunger or a syringe, and then resin. So first off, cut that little tip off of the resin, just the top really. And it doesn't really say exactly how much you're supposed to put in, but it just says leave a little bit for the end. So I'm gonna put in All right, and then you can see in this syringe, there's these little notch marks. So it says to put the syringe or the plunger into the pedestal and lock it up to this second, oh, the second notch like that. And I'm supposed to leave it locked like this. Oh, I can't see that. Locked like that at the second notch for 10 minutes. All right, and time, it's been 10 minutes. So then what you do is you simply take it out of here, let the air come back into the syringe. And then this is where this other notch is important. So then the air's out of the syringe now, you put it back in here, push down, so you're pushing air back in now, and then lock it in right there. Now we wait another uh, 20 minutes. So go have yourself a cup of tea or a few M&Ms or something, I don't know. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. So we are now on step seven and where they tell you to remove the syringe 
that part's done. And then take the safety razor, I don't know how this isn't just a normal razor, and slowly remove the pedestal from the adhesive disc. So I'll give that a shot. And this is something they definitely warned you about. Some of the adhesive may fall out the bottom, so have a cloth nearby. It's kind of fun. All right, and this last part's pretty interesting. They tell you to take the resin again, the little baby resin tube, pour just a little bit that you have left, which I left just enough, I think. Yep, just enough, and then put this small little, looks like something you use in biology class, but they call it a curing strip. Put that on there, and then they recommend you take the razor blade and push any bubbles out again. And again, I think this kind of makes a difference depending on how big your crack is, but ours was very small. This is more of a proactive solution for us so the crack doesn't get bigger. All right, and then it says it needs 15 minutes in the direct sunlight, which I'm gonna have to back the car up and put it out right there, and then we'll see how it cures. All right, that's uh, 15 minutes cured in the sun, and this view is way better because you can see my prison mic air freshener. Um, it says then just to take this off. And I'm just gonna toss that. And then it said you can kind of just scrape away the excess which is quite a bit. All right, and that's it. You really have to look hard to find it now. All right, mission accomplished. Um, crack is gone, or at least sealed. And if you're like, wait a second, I was on this channel because these guys had a van and now what's this Toyota Prius and who cares about a crack in a windshield that's fair that's totally understandable and we will explain that and our life update in a different YouTube video but until then that's how you fix a crack in a windshield subscribe like comment all the stuff see you later